Welcome to the Legally Blind Geek YouTube channel. Hi there, my name is Mike. On this channel we focus on overcoming low vision challenges. In today's video we are going to focus on Mac OS accessibility features, the settings for uh, the spoken content, and how that affects voiceover. We're going to discuss stuff like the uh, speaking rate, selecting voices, and such. So if that sounds like something you or someone you know would be interested in and can benefit from, especially somebody with a visual impairment, stay tuned. Hello and welcome to my desktop. Just a, a quick FYI, I am running a late 2015 model iMac 27 inch 5K Retina display that I have uh, kept up to date with the latest and greatest Mac OS updates that are available for it. Currently I am running, well, let's just take a look at that and I'll show you exactly what I'm running then we'll get back to accessibilities. So if I go to the Apple and I say about this Mac, it's going to tell us that we are running Mac OS Big Sur version 11.1. .1. And here's all the particulars about my personal computer. It's a late 2015 and it runs just fine on this old machine so I wouldn't be afraid to use this or recommend it to anybody as far as go ahead and update to Big Sur. Now we are going to take a look at and well let me go ahead and mention this as well this is a continuation of our series on the Mac OS Big Sur accessibility features and setting up the accessibility features so that they will benefit someone with a visual acuity issue you know, our VIP community, visually impaired persons. I happen to be legally blind, and this is how I set it up, and this is what I use as far as settings goes, and I'll explain a little bit why. So let's go ahead and get into it. We'll go ahead and go into the Apple so that we get a drop-down menu here. Go to System Preferences. From System Preferences, we're going to look down here until we find Accessibility Features. We're going to open Accessibility Features, and then we're going to go down here to spoken content. Now, this is where you can set up, you can select your voice that you want, male, female, from different voices. And you can also set the speaking rate. So I, I usually set a little bit more than normal. That's about 58%, something like that, I think is what it says. That works for me most of the time. Sometimes I'll have to speed it up and sometimes I can slow it down. It just depends on where you're at and what the uh, speaking rate is Different applications are a little bit different. You can speed that up a little bit. And it's when you're reading, using voiceover to read text and stuff like that. In other words, sometimes it's complicated. Sometimes it takes you a little bit of time to listen to each word so that you can decide what they're actually saying. And slowing it down does make a difference. You know, especially when they're using great big words and, and stuff like that. Just describing something scientific or whatnot. Uh... So, we have voiceover, zoom, and display that we have done some videos on, and you can check those out. Just look for the end card, it'll give you a quick link to that. And it's the um, MOS, or excuse me, the Mac OS operating systems type stuff. But anyway, for the spoken content that affects voiceover, under accessibilities, under spoken content, right here, first item on the list is select a voice. I have Samantha selected. You can scroll, move over here to the little blue box with the arrows in it. Click on that. And it'll give you several different voices, both male and female, that you can select. And you can even select the Siri voice if you want to here somewhere. But right now, I have Samantha selected. So if you want to play a sample of that so you can see what Samantha's voice sounds like, you just go over and hit the play button. Hello, my name is Samantha. I am an American English voice. And it will give you a brief introduction to what Samantha sounds like. I can select another one here just for fun. Uh, let's go ahead and try Allison. Again, speaking rate is a little bit faster with her. Hello, my name is Allison. I am an American English voice. And I can slow that down simply by grabbing that slider and sliding it closer to slow. Right now it's between slow and normal. We'll try that. Hello, my name is Allison. 
I am an American English voice. So that may be something that you want to play with. And if you're really one of those high-strung folks and you want something speaking really quickly, I've got it set almost, well, I'll set it all the way fast. It's wide open. Hello, my name is Allison. I am an American English voice. If that's more to your liking, this is where you can adjust that. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back here to, well, let's pick one more just for fun. We'll try a male voice. We'll try Alex. A lot of people like Alex. We're going to leave him at normal. We're going to hit our play button. Most people recognize me by my voice. So that's what Alex sounds like. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go back to Samantha. And so this is how you select your voice. Hit the play button to choose it. Speed it up and slow it down right here. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll in here just a little bit more. There are different boxes that you can check here. It's like the first one, speak announcements. I like it when it notifies me when I get a message or something like that. So it'll give me a brief description. And you can go over here, you can click on options. And when you open options, from here, you can select a voice. You can select a phrase, application name. Then you also select a display for how long it will display that. Basically, it's kind of like a little notification or a little blurb. So, you can hit play. Alert from Finder. Hello, my name is Samantha. I am an American English voice. So you hear it said, you know, it's a notification. Alert from Finder. Hello, my name is Samantha. I am an American English voice. So, that's all there is to that. Now, if you don't like Samantha or if you want to change the phrase, you can click on the button and you can find these different selections that you can phrase list and you can edit the phrase list. So, we'll leave that for that. We'll leave that for now. And then in addition to that, you can go speak selection. I've got it checked. So if we go over here, we click on the options tab, and it gives you all these options that you can select. Keyboard shortcuts, you know, option escape. And these are things that you can find. Highlight content, word color, sentence color, sentence style, and show controller. And these are all things that you can do that will kind of help you set up voiceover so that it's easier for you to understand. And these are all things that you can go in, click on the little button, and it's going to give you never words, the sentences, words and sentences. So you can make your selection there. Probably won't take you more than Oh, five or ten minutes to go through this and set up the uh, spoken content that VoiceOver uses to uh, tell you what's on the page. Okay, just to recap, when setting up accessibilities, more to the point, VoiceOver, so that it makes it easy for you to uh, understand, let's go ahead and we're going to go up to the Apple in the top left hand corner. We went to System Preferences. From System Preferences, we went to Accessibility. And from Accessibility, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. And I have done a, a, a video on how I use Zoom and VoiceOver together. You might want to check that out in the uh, end card. But I'm going to press and hold my Command key, two finger swipe up to zoom in. Overview. VoiceOver, Zoom, Display, and Spoken Content. Today, we went in and we set up our spoken content. We selected a voice here. I like Samantha. You might like something else. And just to make sure that you clicked on the right selection, you've got the, the voice that you like, go ahead and hit the play button. Hello, my name is Samantha. And once you see that that's the voice that you like, next thing you might want to do is go ahead and check the speed. If it's a little bit fast, you can always slow it down by taking and grabbing the little um, slide bar 
and moving it to the left to slow it down or to the right to speed it up. Or you can just put your cursor on the on the grayed out bar and just click on it and it will move. It will adjust it up or down for you. In, in addition to that, we had talked about, and again, I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit to draw attention to this. You'll speak announcements. And basically, when it speaks announcements, whatever you are in, say right now, we, if I go here at the top where it's system preferences, and that may come across as Finder. So I know I'm zooming around here pretty quickly. But speak enter announcements, you can go here in your options and you can select. Again, if you want to have a different voice for your announcements, you can select that here. And by the same token, you can ask it or tell it what you want the phrase to be. For me, it's the application name. So if I'm in Finder, it'll say Finder. Or if it's Messages, it'll just say whatever. Displaying time and seconds. That gives you a, kind of a rough idea of how long it's going to take you to say it. Then you can always hit play. Alert from Finder. And said it, alert from Finder. That's what it's going to say. It's going to say alert from whatever the application is involved with the you know the notification. So I'll just go ahead and click OK. And then um, down here was spoken selection or select or speak selection. Excuse me. I'll get out here in a moment. You know we talked about you know that ticking that. We'll go over to options. Take a look at that. And up here at the very top, it says keyboard shortcut. Well, basically, option escape is the shortcut that I use for my voiceover. So that's just kind of like a little reminder there. And in here, we go highlighted content, the words. Okay. I want it to highlight words. I want it to use a blue box to highlight words. So that's how I've got this set. So if I go in and I go to... Well, let's just try that. Let me go to oh, Google here, Google Chrome. And then we'll go up here to my bookmarks page and we'll find, let's see, let's see here. What would this be? How about we try, okay, Twitter. This is my Legally Blind Geek Twitter page. And if I wanted to read something on here, I'll just select this first one here because it's just something drag and select and then I hit my shortcut keys to engage voiceover we are giving away 36 times custom mugs complete with your okay it doesn't work on Twitter so hmm imagine that so we'll go ahead and we'll close out of Twitter and then we'll go into something that's native to the Mac let's go into pages there it is They've changed the icons. The you know, the icons look a little bit differently. And now it looks like a white notepad with a pen and some quotation marks. That's that's new for Big Sur. So let's go into pages and let's just for go here and just um, oh select this file here. Now, if I were to just push my voiceover keys, shortcut keys to engage voiceover. It's going to start wherever the cursor is. YouTube trailer video framework. Now you see as it highlight as it started speaking, it highlighted the word in the blue box. Okay, that was what that blue box choice does. So if you don't like blue, you can always go in here and you can change this to yellow, green, whatever, whatever suits your fancy. And it will highlight that word with that color. Or you can go all the way up here to default and it'll just use the default colors. It's entirely up to you. Once you make your selection, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to blue just for funds. And I have selected the words and I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And that's what that is all about. And it's similar to each one of these other selections. You can go in and you can customize those any way you like. So I just want to do a quick overview of that. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If it wasn't anything that you were really interested, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below. So if you could just take a minute or two and post your questions, your observations, or your suggestions, that would be outstanding. 
In, in addition to that, pay attention to the um, description page. In the description page, I went ahead and I have listed a few of the, um, well, I, I put included some Amazon affiliate links. If you click on the Amazon affiliate links in the description below, it will take you to these different products that I use every day that I enjoy. Maybe they'll help you out as well. And uh, with each one of those, if you purchase something, we'll make a couple of pennies here that, that help out the channel. But um, I've got some of uh, my favorite Bluetooth speakers that I like to use on my computer because sometimes the computer speakers aren't the best in the world. And um, also some AirPods. I like to use AirPods and stuff like that when I'm in the room and I want to be more private so everybody in the house is here with me, doesn't hear what I'm doing or doesn't hear what I'm reading to be you know, distracted by that or... A lot of times my kids get tired of hearing the voiceover. So, thanks. See you in the next one. Make it a great day.